this is an interesting circuit very simple circuit using a single transistor and multiple coils for induced emf induction mutual inductance self inductance its combination of various theories of physics and it makes a very simple body human body detection circuit this is a white coil which you see is basically the sensor it acts as a sensor and it will sense human body right now the leds are not blinking they may either not blink when human body is not present or they may blink randomly but when human body is present near the coil it will start blinking continuously see i put my hand and see the range it is still detecting my hand and till such time i keep my hand there these leds keep on blinking when i remove the led stops i'll explain the circuit also i bring my hand here the leds are blinking and when i remove my hand the leds are not blinking these two coils are the crucial coils this black coil and the brass coil outside because these are coupled coils and there is induction between them and which is giving the varied signal to the transistor i'll explain the circuit now uh, this is the circuit diagram it is using transistor 2n 2222a it's a very cheap transistor available in the market or you can purchase from online store so this transistor is basically an npn transistor i won't go into the theory basically it, it what is it is doing is generating pulses it is generating pulses at a very high speed this transistor has a switching speed of about 1 microsecond so you can imagine it is generating pulses of at a very high rate or in a very short duration of time and when when I, I, when a human body comes closer to it it the circuit gets activated these are the crucial coils which i was showing uh, one is the coil which is inserted in between the other coil these are coupled coils if i show you back again these are the coils which i am mentioning this black coil and the brass coil these are the coupled coils and the angle between the, them it is not their axes are not at 90 degree there is a slight variation and the sensitivity of the whole circuit depends on what angle i keep these two coils so when you make this circuit you have to do some iteration to see how sensitive it is and at what angle it becomes sensitive this is basically a simple coil which is kept near these two coils it only senses when there is induction when there is a varying pulse and varying pulse starts uh, when i put my hand near it see when i put my hand near it the varying pulse starts and all the leds start glowing because they are glowing on the basis of mutual inductance and generation of emf this coil is very crucial it's a bigger coil it has about 300 turns the rest of the coils have 15 to 20 turns you have to make your own iteration you or your own hit and trial because it depends what gauge of wire you are using uh, mine are simple ones the thin wires which are available in the market for the electronic circuits and this coil you can see functions as the sensor this is a white coil one end is open and one end is tapped to the center of the black coil i'll just show you again Now coming back to the circuit again this is the black coil which is coupled with the brass coil and this you can see the tapping point the center of the black coil this white wire is connected here and it goes to the it is right now because my hand is close to the circuit that is why it is sensing my hand moment i remove it it stops sensing now going back to the circuit now circuit shows this is the black coil which i was showing and this is the brass coil inside which this black coil is kept at certain angle and interestingly this brass coil one end is connected to negative of the battery and another end is connected to the base of the transistor so the coupling produces the current so transistor keeps on functioning between forward bias and the reverse bias depending upon whether the current is rising here or falling here so when the transistor is reverse bias it is cut off when it is forward bias it is on and the circuit gets completed the positive or terminal is here it goes through this coil which has about 300 turns i'll show you again and it goes through this to the collector and the circuit gets completed when it is forward bias and when the circuit gets completed the leds are blowing 
the LEDs are not directly connected to the circuit. All the LEDs are glowing, base glowing when there is a mutual inductance. So means when there is a varying current which is produced. So the circuit is producing pulses when this coil senses the human body. Now this coil is very important. This is the black coil which I was showing you, which has the other black coil. This is the smaller black coil, which is connected to the sensing coil, white coil. Again, it is sensing my hand. And this black coil basically has 300 turns. And inside this black coil, I have put one small coil, which is basically just to make it attractive. It's this small coil and it right now, if I put my hand, all these coils are glowing. This is coil which is outside. These are coils, all these coils are glowing because of mutual inductance means the varying current is being produced in the circuit because of the coupling between these two coils and my hand acts as a trigger for starting the coupling. So that's all and if you try this circuit don't get dis disheartened if it doesn't function because mine also functioned after a lot of permutation, combination, heat and trial and num changing the number of turns somehow it has become functional and the circuit is not available at least I have not seen in any of the books.